Hi, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see, I'm here making some curry powder. So this is garam masala. Come, let's make garam masala. So the ingredients you need to make this garam masala are peppercorns. So I'm using one tablespoon of peppercorn, three black cardamom, a few star anise. This is about uh, four to five star anise. One teaspoon of nutmeg powder. One teaspoon of dried ginger powder. Cloves. Few cloves. This is about one teaspoon of cloves. One teaspoon of green cardamom. A big piece of uh, cinnamon. This is maize. This is about one tablespoon of maize. One teaspoon of cumin powder, sorry, cumin seeds. And one tablespoon of fennel seeds. These are the ingredients you need. We need to dry roast them individually and grind them to a fine powder. So let's go to the stove. So remember to keep the flame on low to medium. And we need to dry roast each ingredient individually. About 2 to 3 minutes of roasting is more than enough for each ingredient. So first let's start with the peppercorns. Dry roast them for about 3 minutes. The peppercorns are done. Transfer that onto a plate for cooling. Now let's add the cloves, car green cardamom and the cinnamon. We can roast these three things together. Let's break this. This is done. Again, transfer that to a plate. Now, let's add the black cardamom, the cloth, the star anise, and the maize. These things can be roasted together. This is done. Transfer that to a plate. Now the fennel. The fennel is done. Onto the plate. Now the cumin. is done. Transfer that to a plate and we can now roast the powders. This is the ginger powder and nutmeg powder. This is the powder just roasted for about 30 seconds. That's enough. Okay, now transfer that to the plate. So once this cools, we can grind this to a fine powder. So all the garam masala is here. Let's remove it.
si Ayan, freshly ground Tara masala We can put this into a bottle or a tight container Clean air tight container And this is perf this quantity is about uh, 75 grams So it will be perfect enough for a week if you want to make more just uh, multiply the quantity and you have you will have enough and more para masala this is a very good spicy and fragrant uh, spice blend that i've made so make this recipe and let me know how you liked it in the comment section So there's approximately 50 to about 70 grams of garam masala. This is more than enough for a week. Uh, put this in a clean bottle and airtight container and will, the fragrance and the flavor will stay stand perfect for a month or two. So try this recipe out. If you want more, just increase the uh, quantity. Multiply each ingredient by the number of times you want it. So yeah, so try this recipe out. I hope you like this recipe. Like, share and subscribe to my channel. So until I see you guys again with yet another video, this is your big signing off. Bye.